This is the lumbar and sacral region of our axial skeleton. If we look at the bones here, we have lumbar vertebrae 1, L2, L3, L4, and L5. And of course, this is the sacrum down here, followed by the coccyx at the very bottom there. You can see intervertebral discs in between each of the vertebrae. And if we look at the nerves here, remember these are pairs. So what you see here is the pair of this. What you see here is the pair here. On top of L1, we're going to have the last of the thoracic nerves. So this is going to be nerve T12. And then below L1, if I turn it to the side here, you might see this a little bit easier. Below L1, we're going to have nerve L1. Below L2, nerve L2. Below L3, nerve L3. Below 4 is nerve L4. And below L5 is going to be nerve L5. If I turn this around to the posterior side, the median sacral crest has been removed. So you have the sacrum here, and you can more easily see the sacral nerves. So S1, S2, S3, S4, S5. The final pair we have is coccygeal. And then we've got phylum terminal coming all the way to the bottom here. A few other nice features you can see on this model are at the very top, you can see conus medullaris coming right here. And also, if you remember the meningeal layers, so the spinal, spinal meningeal layers, dura mater, arachnoid mater, pia mater, they've been removed here. And what you can see are the sort of the threads or the strings that come with the cauda equina. You can see them all throughout this region here.